Hey guys, it's your boy Bears, and welcome to my review for episode 7 of season 6 of Game of Thrones. Now, sorry if you can hear my window is open because it's boiling. Like, this is crazy level hot for Ireland. But, that's not important. Let's get into the review. So, oh, let's start with, um, with our... Her favorite Norton house, the Starks. So, John and Sansa went to House Mormont and Glover. At House Mormont, they pretty much got owned by a 10 year old, which you know, didn't particularly start their journey off well. But in the end, they did get some men. 62. what they were hoping for. Or just, I'm going to take, take, take a wild, wild, wild guess that that's not what they were hoping for. Oh well. Oh, well. You take what you can get. So they didn't get any made by from House Glover, because House Glover was like, yo, when I needed to rob, he was bedding some foreign whore, and those are actually the guy from House Glover's actual words, foreign whore, so interesting, nice choice of, uh, nice, nice phrasing there, er, and, um, yeah, so, they didn't get a lot of, of, Houses to side with them. They did get the wildlings did join up with John after Tormund made a plea to them, him and uh, one one the giant and was like snow, and then all the wildlings were like shit. We better jo we better <laughs> we better stay on the good side of that guy. So oh the well things both. All decide to join up with uh, John, and for some reason, jo John John is isn't isn't thinking it through, isn't thinking this stri isn't thinking this battle through. You know, he seems to be rushing it. I don't know why, because the Night King is focusing on Bran. So, dude, you have plenty of time. They're not gonna they're not coming south oh, anytime soon. They're focusing on getting Bran. Why? He, they think a crippled child will help them bring down the wall it is beyond me. Maybe he's just like, yeah, do it for shits and giggles. But yeah, yeah. I don't know why John is rushing, but um, Santa is trying our best to like say, oh, look, we don't, we need more guys. And she was right at the end, and in the last scene with John and Sansa in the episode, we see her writing the letter from the preview, if any of you guys watched the previews for the episodes, um, the one where she signs Sansa Stark, and even uses Stark Sigil. Oh, oh, I don't know who the letter is to, maybe it's to, maybe she's saying, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have uh, thrown the uh, offer of of a, of a of additional army away. So maybe the letter is to Baelish, Peter Baelish. Who knows? It could. It could be just a letter that she's sending to all the Norn houses. Is and we're just seeing one of the letters she's written. This, this could be the first letter she's written, and it could be the 500th. We don't know. They didn't, they only showed us one. So, let's go from one start to another. We go to Aya, who, 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 not sure where she got the silver. Her, her, but. Apparently she has two bags full, enough to pretty much say to a guy who she f 
knew from his accent, I'm guessing, that he was from Westeros. And she's like, can I get passage on your boat? I want to go home. He's like, go away, you can't afford it. And then she's like, yeah, we leave at dawn. But before she gets a chance to leave, the, uh, the other chick from the house of Damn, two doors? Or damn. The other girl. I think her name's The Waif? That's that's the name the other... Her, people seem to be calling her, so that's what I'm going to go with. It's a Waif. Which is a horrible, stupid name, by the way. He... He... He shows up wearing a face, obviously, because, you know, faceless. Duh. And she stabs. Habs. Oh, ah, yeah. And am I the only one who noticed it was a bit like he, the Red Wedding and how Rob's, Rob's wife was stabbed right in the, in the gut? Why, why she didn't stab in the chest to pierce the heart? Guarantee a kill. Oh. Why the stomach? I don't know. Oh, oh, and Jaina Nagar even said, "Don't make her suffer." Her. Everyone knows. Yeah, yeah, Arya. If she doesn't get her, her, the wounds in her stomach. You know, if she doesn't get healed, she could eventually die. But the wave could have easily killed her, stab her through the heart. Done. And while we would have all, all been like, that's bullshit, it, oh, all that Aya has, has a, gonna be a badass, has built, hold up and boom, oh, she's dead. It. But whatever, her logic, take the wave, is an idiot. It, for not killing Aya easily, cause she had her, she had her, her, by, she had her cut. Uh, her arm was around Aya's throat but while she was stabbing her. She could easily stab Aya in the chest and be done with it. Instead, she let Aya get away from her. And then she watches her jump into water. Her. And then she just like, Yep, yeah, my job's done. Forgetting, <coughs> excuse me, forgetting she has to take Aya's face because Jack and Hagar said, it to Aya before she went before where she was supposed to go on her second attempt at uh, her first mission hmm? and kill the actress a few episodes ago oh well last episode that was the last episode but, but that's how fast it's moving it feels like more episodes um so yeah Um, so, the way for stupid, she could have killed, should have killed Aya pretty easily, but just, just didn't. I don't know why, and I don't know what's going to happen now. Oh, we'll just have to wait and see, he won't we? Um, there was no scenes in Marine, but, um... We did see Yara and Theon. They've made it across the narrow sea. Obviously, we saw the uh, scene in the whorehouse from another preview. Who? 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 In. It's a. It's. It's. it's a, I'm pretty sure that means the Greyjoy the bloodline is gonna die out. Because. Is Yara a lesbian? Because if she is, you know, I'm not judging. Just saying, how can she produce a Greyjoy heir? Because Theon can't, <laughs> and they're planning to kill their uncle, who's the only other Greyjoy. And I know, oh, book stuff. There's more Greyjoys. He's like the guy, the re old guy who baptized, is 
there are Yarantheon's uncle is meant to be a Greyjoy, and there's another Greyjoy who's not even in the show, apparently. He, but since they don't acknowledge he's a Grey, the old guy is a Greyjoy, or 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 the other Greyjoy from the book. So there's only three, and if your man is gone, and Yara is a lesbian, guess what? No more Greyjoys. He's, 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 yeah. Just say, you know, just point out that obvious fact. Um, oh, oh yeah, we saw the return of Sandor Kuglain. Yes, the Hound returned. And thanks to Ian McShane or. Her, her Blackbeard, if you're a Pirates of the Caribbean fan. Um, yeah. Uh, apparently, they revived him, or they s healed him. I'm guessing... So, he's not... He, he didn't die. So, it's not like he was brought back from the dead, like Jon Snow. He was just healed. Fair enough. Well, obviously he was on the brink of death, but I'll see. He, he, he. The, those people who found hmm, the hound are apparently the best healers there were because they're all dead now. <laughs> and the hound is grabbed an axe. He's like, vengeance will be mine. He didn't say anything, but pretty much, he's, he's hanging out, oh, he's going in search of the Brotherhood with banners to get vengeance. Solid. Not sure how he's going to end up in King's Landing if, uh, the game ball is going to be a thing. But, uh, who knows. And, uh... Marjorie's uh, grandmother, whose first name, um, not sure, what's her first name? I'll just call her Grandmother Tyrell. So, Grandma Tyrell will a conversation with her grand, with Marjorie. And she had a conversation with Cersei, and, and she owned Cersei in the conversation saying, You've no more support, everyone hates you, who, who, and pretty much, it's, you're nothing. Boom. So, yeah. And she's heading back to Highgarden. Boy, will she have a surprise waiting for her when she gets back there? <laughs> or because didn't the uh, Sand Snakes take over the place? Hmm. Interesting. Be interesting to see what happens. And will the Sand Snakes kill Grandma Tyrell? Will we even see what happens? And who knows? Who the hell knows? Um, is that everything? There's nothing with that Daenerys, unfortunately. Nothing with Bran. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. Um, Jamie. I almost forgot about this. Jamie and uh, Blackfish went. Had a little chat. And the blackfish is like, Kill Edmir, I don't give a shit. Hit. Hit. We have supplies for two years. You ready for a two year siege? Good luck with that. So, oh, 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 the blackfish owned Jamie's ass in that conversation and is pretty much. Gosh. 
are showing off how much of a badass as, and how much he doesn't give a shit is that uh, overall. Oh, so yeah. So that was episode 7 in a nutshell. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of episode 7 and, 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 and oh, oh, your overall thoughts of the season of season six so far and what you hope to see in future episodes. But until next time, thanks for watching. I'm enjoying it. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.